am Christy Okendo. At this moment, I, I will discuss to you about the benefits and beneficiaries of research. Essentially, this lesson informs the listeners on how the study will contribute to the well-being of a person or progress of a group or, soci or society in general. Qualitative studies investigating impact of a certain projects, activities, or program can best showcase benefits and beneficiaries of the study in the fields of accountancy, business, management, science, technology, mathematics, humanities, social science, engineering, and other fields. There are two aspects of significance. First is the significance for theory. In this section of the problem statement, the researcher can outline the research study's contribution to fundamental knowledge by describing how the study fits into the theoretical tradition in the science or applied fields in ways that will be new, insightful, or creative. The significant statement should show how the study will contribute to research traditions. Data collection, however, may be in different settings with different groups and at, a di and at a different time. Thus, the result of the research will be an extension of a previous theory. The second aspect of significance is significance for policy and practice. The significance of a study for policy and practice can be established by presenting data that show how often the problem occurs and how costly it can be. In conclusion, when mulling over the significance of the research study you wish to undertake, I ask yourself the following question. Number one, who has an interest in my research topic? Number two, what do we already know about the topic? Number three, what has not been answered adequately in previous research and practice? And last, how will this new research contribute to theory, policy, and practice in his area? Reflecting on this question carefully, coupled with right decision and action, will result in meaningful and productive research study. The title of the study is The Surviving Cultural Heritage of the Kankinis of Penge, Basis of a Proposed Program for, for Cultural Preservation and Development. The beneficiaries of the study were clearly the cultural minorities themselves, the Kankinis because the study was designed to identify their needs and concern that pertinent remedies or program can be done to improve on their situation. The government and the non-government organization were likewise benefited by the cultural minorities, benefited, benefited, benefited by the study in the sense that its finding helped them identify the needs of the people and serve as a basis for them to design an integrated, comprehensive, an attainable program for the cultural preservation and development of the respondents.